I'm Sam Fleming. I am the wildcard editor at Red Racing World. This is a 2022 TM300 EN FI, and today we're just going to do something really simple, which is we're going to weigh it, and then I'm going to take it down to KWS Motorsports down in Charleston, South Carolina, and we are going to dyno it. I'm going to have my buddy Tim. He's the crew chief of Army of Darkness, but he also used to work at National Institute of Standard and Technology. So when he was at NIST, he was in charge of measuring things. Um, and so I'm actually going to have him come over and weigh the bike for me. Um, we're going to weigh it in such a fashion that is not the way they would have done it at NIST. Uh, but anyway, we're going to weigh the bike. Um, now, this bike is not stock. Uh, it's not exactly the way it was delivered from the factory. So some of the different things I did is I took the inner tubes out of the wheels and I put in the tubeless system. Um, it's just personal preference, but it probably affects the weight a little bit. Um, I have a Recluse clutch in it. It's not a kit because Recluse doesn't make a kit for the TM. Um, it probably weighs about the same as the stock one, but it might just be like a couple ounces different. So I've got a recluse clutch in it. Um, the other thing is I've got the wraparound uh, hand guards. They're a little bit heavier, so you know that probably adds a little bit of weight to it. Um, I've cut the handlebars down an inch. Uh, probably doesn't really affect the weight, but there's a down an inch. Um, I took the uh, Metzler ISDE six-day tires off and put on some uh, Pirellis on this bike that are a little bit narrower, um, so they might be a, a hair lighter than the stock tires. Uh, I was able to take off the headlight and the taillight on this one, so it has no headlight, no taillight. Um, the gas tank is basically empty. We siphoned out as much as we could, so that's basically empty. Um, and the oil tank is full. So the oil tank is full, gas tank is empty. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so touch them both. You ready? Yep, roll it on. There you go. And then hold it perfectly balanced. So there's 114.0 and... 117.2. Oh my god. So... I can't do that in my head. So right. <laughs> 1417 is uh, 31. 231. Point four. That's pretty light. That's that's appalling. I don't even know what the fuck it is. Like I've never I've never seen one. It's an Italian three hundred cc two stroke, and uh, these guys go crazy on building the engines. So they're all hand ported. Um, <laughs> they, first, they start with CNC in the whole inside of the cases. Then oh they wow. Everything. So they make sure. Like it's all hand built. It's, That's cool. It's basically a hand built high end. Is it bike. their engine? Yep. Okay. 100% their engine. Even their throttle body, everything is, oh, wow. all, is all theirs. Michael Godin, KWS still. Uh, we're going to dyno this TN300 and see what it is. So all of our bikes, we uh, our, stand, our set tire pressure is 30. Um, we try to get as much consistency as we can. If you're doing a bike in similar weather in a very short time frame, um, we, one, we always set tire pressures at 30. Um, I will measure how tight the bike is. That way, if, if we were able to do a before and after, then we're duplicating the height, tire pressure, who's doing it. The only variable we have no control over is the weather. Yeah, so that's the slower map, that's the faster map. So it's probably ignition? Probably. Cause it's not, yeah. I gotta update the, I gotta restart the computer, it was locked up. Five speed, six, six.
a little out of balance. Air is almost perfect right now. It's barely correcting. That's corrected. That's under corrected, which is actual dealing with uh, current weather conditions. And when I'm looking at that power curve, that power curve is What's very good is predictable. You don't have to wring it all out. It's really strong up here. It builds torque really good up here. So it'll it'll get off, you know, out of the corner good. Yeah. So I'm thinking it, they're. Maybe their motocross version, they... It's probably peakier and, yeah. and, and stuff where this, this, yeah, you're building power, but like, it's it's very smooth. I, you don't even feel like a hit where it's like, oop, uncontrollable. Cool. Yep. All right, so 231 pounds, 0.4, as Tim would say, 231 pounds. That's a very light uh, 300 cc. <laughs> Uh, motorcycle and it makes 52 horsepower uh, which is just um, astounding so very powerful and very light uh, I wish I was a better rider and was able to <laughs> take advantage of everything this bike is capable of